Welcome back to daytime, everyone. I wish you could smell the studio right now. It smells so good. We've got fragrant flowers all around us, plumerias, in fact. If you've been to Hawaii and you've been presented with a lei, chances are <laughs> it was made out of plumeria flowers. And we've got Roger Gale here. He is the president of the Gulf Coast Plumeria Society. Thank you. Hi. For us. And I have one of these in a pot in my front yard that's growing like crazy. A lot of people have them growing in pots. A lot of people have them in their yard. Uh, they're very easy to take care of. And if, you know, they're just, a, it's very fragrant, nice, <sighs> beautiful flowers. And they can take a beating because my neighbor had some as well and he had some planted and the frost came last year and they kind of withered up and they looked like I thought they were goners. Now they've come back. Yep, all you do is just cut the little tip off of them and they just keep coming back. Uh, they're well, just the greatest plant in America. Well, there you go. That's why you're the president of the society. <laughs> this is just a, a cutting and, and if the best way, if I was to take this plant and say, I want some of that, what, where would I cut it from? You could cut it just anywhere? about anywhere's right in here. And if I did that, it wouldn't hurt. Would this wouldn't keep hurt. growing? This would keep growing, probably put out a few branches down here, uh -huh. and then you just keep propagating it. Now That's the easiest way of doing plumeria. So let's say there's my cutting here. Now what do I do with it? I don't just shove it in the ground. Right. You take it and you throw it in your garage or on your back porch for about two weeks and let it get really good and hard down here, uh -huh. and then you just take it and you put it in a pot. Really? So I don't have to put it in water or anything? Yep. Two it, weeks, I'll let it dry. No water. No water. Huh. Okay. Now mine... Perfect for zero escape. Mine looks like it's busting out of the pot. Now when I go to um, plant it, just pull it out. Yep. Fully. Just take it, take it, pull it out of the pot. Right. Just like you would any other plant. You uh -huh. can treat it just like anything that you're going to repot into a different pot mm -hmm. or put it in the ground. Now should I leave the existing soil that's around it, make my hole and just shove it in there just, and hope for the best? Just mess up the soil a little bit, put it in there with a little bit of water and let it go. Are there different varieties of plumeria? Uh, there's several different varieties. We have the one that's called uh, pudica, which is, uh, I call it a patio plant. Uh, mm. It gets a white flower with very little fragrance. Okay. Um, and then you have the ones that are have the bigger, darker flowers that are real fragrant. That's um, pretty. Yeah, they're just very, very good smell to them. I like the cluster of, now I'm not sure mine are going to grow like that. Here it is. Take a look. Now, what kind is this? Because I really like that. That's called Scott Pratt. Scott Pratt. Okay. Yes. Probably best to get a book, right? Because but of all there, the different there, varieties. There are several <laughs> books on the market that you can get. This is the newest one and one out. Uh, uh -huh. The author is from Hawaii. Okay, so he um, would know. He would definitely know. Um, so even though, are they indigenous to Hawaii, but they, they do well everywhere else? Actually, or? that's a myth. Okay. They were uh, taken to Hawaii. They grow mainly in the Caribbean and Mexico ah. and in the subtropical areas. How far north in the U.S. can you grow these successfully? Uh, we have them growing in Canada. Oh, well, there. <laughs> you have I, to bring them inside. I guess you can and, cross the border with yeah, them then. You have to bring them inside during the winter time where it's warm. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, they grow all over the United States. What do they do? They need a lot of light, or do they need shade, or uh, both? A minimum six hours of sun every day. Straight, straight, straight up. Straight up sun. Um, you okay. know, a southern exposure is great for them. Any kind of special fertilizer? Or do you just let them uh, go? Something with a high middle number, which which is the phosphate, which makes uh, flowers bloom. Um, we I use fifteen thirty fifteen. Okay. Uh, and what is this you've done here? This is just a lay ring where uh, those of us who have plumeria can. Uh, display our, our flowers, you know, we have it in the house, out on the back porch. I love it. Yes, <laughs> it very displays nice. them very well. Well, Roger Gale, it's such a pleasure to have you here. I'm so glad you came when you did because I didn't know what to do with mine. So there you go, from the uh, Gulf Coast Plumeria Society. If anybody yes. knows, Roger does. What's your website? Uh, it's gulfcoastplumeria.org. gulfcoastplumeria.org. Daytime will be right back, stick around. <laughs>